Right. So let's take a look at a couple of specific pieces of HVAC equipment. So Reedy, I think you've worked with this one. Have you, you worked with the 38 Mura, right? From Carrier? Yes. Yes, I okay. definitely have. So this is a mini split base system that's dumb. So it's it, it can't change the fan speed, the indoor fan speed very well. And that's fundamentally what you need to do. You want to be able to slow that fan speed down as much as possible, which makes the coil run colder, which makes it dehumidify better. So what we're looking at here, these are some kind of confusing numbers. Like I still struggle with getting my hand, uh, my head around uh, wet bulbs. So you see the, the first one, it's IDWBF, that is indoor wet bulb in Fahrenheit that is related to dew point, but is generally still higher than what the dew point is. Um, so it's somewhere between uh, the, the dew point and then the indoor uh, dry bulb temperature, the actual temperature inside. So the, the second one there, IDDB, that is indoor dry bulb. That's the actual temperature of the space, not including any humidity. So what we're looking at here is a 60.8 wet bulb. Let's call that a 58 dew point, something like that, just to throw a number out there that may or may not be about right, but it's probably in the ballpark. And then a 77 degree indoor temperature. So next slide, it'll pop up the 0.95. There's our sensible heat ratio. The S over T, that's um, sensible over temperature. Or it's, well, what it says right below, sensible cooling capacity ratio. So that's the sensible heat ratio. Um, so at that airflow, at those temperature conditions, that system it is only doing 5% dehumidification. We need about 25% for most markets to actually be okay. More is better, less is not. So this is like a fifth of where we need to be. Anybody see a problem? Bueller? Oh, all right, next up. So here's a Daikin Fit. We put a couple of these in in our uh, uh, Airbnbs in West Virginia, and I've been really impressed by these pieces of equipment. Now, these are communicating. I'll define that in a minute. Um, but... Uh, <clears throat> Take a look at similar conditions. Now, there aren't identical conditions. Like this is this is expanded cooling data, which is what I was pulling that other stuff from as well. These are both one and a half ton units. Um, I have direct experience with the one and a half ton units. My experience has been if the outdoor temperature gets to 75 degrees or warmer, these units do a very good job of dehumidification in the house. Like I've been shocked actually how well they've done. They're genuinely surprised how well they've done until it gets to where they, they can't do it. And then you need a dehumidifier, but take a look at similar conditions. So we were looking at 75 indoor or 77 indoor temp four. go back one, Ted. Um, uh, so 75 indoor temp, and then that is a 71 degree um, dew point, or I think that's something along those lines. I can't even read that. Um, uh, anyway, at, at those conditions, that thing is doing 62% dehumidification and only 38% cooling. That thing is an animal at that condition. You are dehumidifying and there's just, there's water just running off the coil in a consistent stream. And I've seen that with the system where my Bosch, which is very similar to the carrier we just looked at. I thought that my condensate line where the um, the, the moisture off the coil is supposed to drip out. I thought it was disconnected because I never through an entire summer with a very humid climate saw any water coming out of that line. Um, and I changed some settings and got to where, yeah, I could get something, but then it didn't operate the way I wanted. These little things, these little dike can fit, man, there's always at least a drip and sometimes there's a stream coming out of there. These, this is a really nice piece of equipment for dehumidification has really impressed me to be frank. And I, anybody who knows me well knows that I don't speak well about equipment unless I really think well about the equipment. Um, I won't pull punches on stuff. All right. So comparing to the same conditions or this close as we can get, this is a 59 uh, indoor wet bulb for where we were at 60.8 for the last one. Um, look at the different airflows here. So um, on the, almost to the left, you see the 520, the 610, and the 700. Those are the airflows uh, in the coil. That's cubic feet per minute. Note that at 520, we've got a pretty nice sensible heat ratio of 0.75. And then it gets worse at 610 at 0.83. And then note that it goes to one. So it's doing no dehumidification at all when that fan is running at 700 CFM under those conditions.
So fan speed, indoor fan speed is fundamentally what makes or breaks you. And you need to be able to control it separately or it doesn't matter. Um, if you don't have a communicating system, you generally can't control fan speed well. There are exceptions, and I'd love to hear more about them from people, uh, but uh, it's a challenge. Oh, and I see, um, I thought 38 Murr is a condenser. That is the outdoor unit, um, but uh, I showed what the pairing is. It's a 40 something or other with the uh, 40 MUAA air handler. It doesn't really matter yeah. in this case. This is not communicating. So going back to the discussion of sensible heat ratios, remember how we need at least a 0.75 where we're doing 25% dehumidification. The Daikin Fit is hitting that just barely at 0.75 with these conditions. Under very similar but not identical conditions, the uh, Carrier 38 Mura is only getting to 0.95. So that is not good enough. Guess which one of these is the cheaper product to install and still get the IRA to grant? It's the Mura. Guess who's going to get to buy a dehumidifier? Um, so, Reedy, was that you that just saw that, actually? Yeah, it, it wasn't uh, with the MUR. It was with the Bosch. But whenever someone wants one of these, we don't mind offering it, but we also offer a ventilating dehumidifier at the same time. That's the only safe path that I see moving forward. Yes. Um, and and, and at, at that point, you should have just bought a green speed or a five stage. And yeah. how much energy are you really saving? Because you got to run the dehumidifier. You didn't. Um, I mean, what, what, what's your cost difference? Four, five, six grand, maybe something like that? Yeah, it's like 6,000. So there you go. So one dehumidifier, and you can basically take care of most of that issue. You may still need a $250 dehumidifier for covering um, some of your weird shoulder seasons, but yeah, it helps a lot. Um, so note to self, oversized, and this is just coming back around, oversized high efficiency HVAC um, may not hit condensation point. That's what we're seeing with the 0.95 sensible heat ratio. That's terrible. And we saw some ones in there too. That's terrible. This is going to make people sick. It's it's not a matter of if. It's merely a matter of when and how many. 